I'm from South Florida, so I'm used to storms. She from California says it ain't the norm. Says men always wanna chase her. If you love her once, won't ever replace her. Earthquakes, they don't shake her, but she says my words break her walls down. Break by you break. guys. So this video is gonna be something simple and easy that you guys can make for your family. I'm not really sure if you want to call this quarantine food, but it's just something easy to make. I didn't feel like cooking. It was like late at night and I wanted something to eat, but I really wasn't trying to cook it. Okay. And it took me like a total of 20 minutes, depending on how many people you have in your family. This is my vlogging camera. And I know I haven't vlogged in like forever only because, you know, my situation my son passed away so i haven't vlogged since then um and i'm not really going to call this a vlog even though you know it's just like just a normal day um well for me it's a normal day where the hell's my slippers so you know you guys want to see it's nice and sunny outside and stuff indoors i'm not really going outside and shit got my iced coffee and stuff and that's about it you know what i'm saying got my when you come in the house stuff right here hand sanitizers bleach disinfected disinfectant masks gloves you know gotta stay well stocked and that's it my son's room is still the same you know i didn't i haven't really done anything to it i just left his his room the same um yeah this is his room. And so it's still the same. You know, I did clean it up and this is like the pants that he made. Those are actually the pants that um he passed away in and I wanted to keep them. And this is like his, his little shrine, not really a shrine, but I come in here every night and I light his candles and, and stuff, you know. My other son is coming to live with me um, at the end of this month him and his wife and my other two grandkids and guess what you guys <laughs> you know what my kids are really trying to turn me into an old person like seriously they are really trying to make me old yeah now my son jerron is asking me to make him some oxtails when he gets here like dude there's barely any groceries at the grocery store and it's a quarantine like i just told him i'm not going outside unless i really have to go somewhere i got like mad groceries in here i'm not going nowhere okay so you get what i can, what you get and don't make a fit but anyway so my kids are really trying to age me you know i have three grandsons okay one is seven one is five and one is one and a half three grandsons my daughter has one and my son has two, but they're really trying to make me like some, like really a granny grand. So now I'm going to have four grandchildren. Okay. Yes. My son and his wife, they are, well, they're, they're engaged. They were supposed to get married in June, the day after my birthday, but it is postponed because of the virus, but they are having another baby. I don't know what this baby is. Oh, something is in the oven too. Hold the fuck up. What's in the damn oven? Oh, Tati's making some kind of baked goods. Like, look like brownie. Oh, okay. Well, anyway, yes. Yeah, so they have another baby. I think the baby's doing October. Yeah. And I don't know what it is. I'm hoping for a granddaughter. Either way, um, the new baby is going to be named Jalen after my son Muzzle. You know, because that was his real name. No, it's a unisex name. So, yes. Really happy about that. So anyway, we're about to make something really easy. You ain't got to use no heat. If you got a microwave girl, then you good to go. So she's making brownie mix. Great. Like I need to eat brownies. All right, you guys, bear with me while I get the stuff together. These are the things that you're going to need for, to make this. I did forget one particular thing, which is the bowl. Okay. okay. So you're going to need some rice. Now, I prefer instant rice because with instant rice, you ain't got to cook it on the stove. But you can also microwave regular rice. It's all the same. But with regular rice, that's you definitely have to wash it beforehand, okay? But you also can wash instant rice, too, to get the starch out of it. So we're just going to use instant rice, but you can also microwave regular rice. There are plenty of videos on YouTube that will show you how to do it. I forgot. Um, sometimes I do do it, but hey, 
this is much easier. So these are the things you're gonna need. We're gonna use some of the instant white rice, okay? And I'm gonna use some of this, the instant brown rice, only because I don't think there's enough in here. So I'm just gonna combine the two. You're gonna need a measuring bowl only just to measure out, but you really don't need a measuring bowl because if you put two regular size cups or one cup size, when I say one cup size, I don't mean like, it's just equal parts, okay? So if you put three scoops of rice, you're gonna put three scoops of water, all right? So it's just equal parts. And depending on how much rice is how you microwave it. So I'm gonna put four cups of rice and that's gonna make it take 16 to 20 minutes to microwave. Some beans, can of beans. You can use any kind of beans you want. Red kidney beans, we have those also, but I really don't care for them too much. So I'm gonna use two cans of black beans. And this also depends on how many people you're gonna feed. So normally, only four of us eat this, so, you know, two adults, two kids. And, well, nah, my, my two youngest daughters are like adults, adult sizes too. So, we're going to use two cans of black beans to use the can of chicken breasts, okay? These are the bigger cans, and then this is a small can. Normally, I just use two big ones, depending on how much I'm making, but I'm going to use two and a half today. And then the seasoning of your choice. I like to use this by Weber Roasted Garlic and Herb Seasoning. This stuff is just amazing. You can use this on anything. So I season like my rice with this when I make it, my chicken, pasta, everything. You can use this for everything. It's really good seasoning. I would highly suggest you guys picking it up when you can go to the store. Also, some of the lemon pepper all-purpose seasoning is really good too. Um, I'm probably not going to use the seasoning salt because I really don't use the seasoning salt that much because I have these and you don't really need it. But if you like seasoning salt, then you can use that. And then this is also by Weber. This is the kick and chicken season. This is really good also. You'll definitely need a can opener and a bowl to cook your rice in. Make sure it's a microwavable bowl. First thing I'm going to do, this is just the bowl to put the rice in, but I'm going to measure the rice or, you know, yeah, measure the rice. So this goes up to four cups, this, uh, this cup measure. Cool. And it's almost four cups, so I'm just going to pour a little bit more in here. And these are both microwave rices. It doesn't really matter if it's brown or white. So this is like, I would say probably like, I don't know. But this is where I'm going to put the water at also. So I'm going to take my glass dish and pour that in there. And then I'm going to put the same amount of water in this glass dish. Pour the water into the rice bowl. And this is just equal amount of rice and equal amount of water. So being that the spoon fell in here, let's get that out. And I'm just going to stir that around. And I'm also going to take the seasoning, which is the garlic and herb seasoning. And I'm going to sprinkle some of that in there. This is up to your liking of seasoning, your preference. So I just put a little bit of that. Put some of the lemon pepper. And just want to stir that around. And then you want to put this in the microwave for about 20 minutes. And it does not require a top to be on it, as stated. So I'm just gonna put it on 20 minutes. And it's 219. And while that's cooking, now we're going to make the mixture for the rice and beans and chicken. Okay, so first things first, I'm gonna open up the black beans. This one is easy because it's just a full top. I do um, drain some of the water out because I don't like all of that bean juice in it so I drain it out because the beans are already wet enough. I'm just going to dump all the beans in. And then I'm going to put the chicken, canned chicken in it. Um, I'm also going to drain this just as you would tuna fish so first, let's open it up. I'm gonna put this in it, which is the roasted garlic. I'm 
some lemon pepper, some of the Weber kicking chicken seasoning, and then just stir it up. And once your rice is done cooking, this is when you'll go ahead and put this in the microwave. You can microwave this for five minutes because the meat is already cooked and so are the beans, so you don't want to overcook it. So depending on how much you're cooking, this would take about a good five minutes. If it's less than this, then you know, you can just, you know, wing it. But for this amount, I would say five minutes is enough time. And once and this is done, just going to mix it all together. So I'll be right back. So the rice is still cooking. It's got seven minutes left on it this is like a really easy meal like listen you don't have to spend a lot of money on it the chicken like I got the chicken from the grocery store the big cans are like a dollar fifty and the smaller can was a dollar I actually got those smaller cans from the 99 cents only store and the rice it's super cheap too this is like a meal that you know you don't have to cook this will service like a family size of six six and we do each have a nice size and that's all we eat with it because it has the chicken the beans and the rice in it so there really isn't much needed after that um because you got everything in it and it's like a really quick meal a uh, quick meal and especially if you like you're not you know you're on a budget like right now every i think everybody is on a budget right now you know what i'm saying so this is just something you can get. I know the grocery stores don't really have a lot these days, especially for meat. So this is just something you can substitute for your family or for yourself. And if you don't know how to make rice and beans like on the stove, then this is just another simple way. Right? Right? Tell them, see, yup. It's easy. Right? Tell them it's easy. Yeah. It's easy. Pancake says it's easy, right? Yeah. Yes. What are you doing? Yeah, well, we're vlogging. I know. This was supposed to be... You got to stay still. You can't just be all over the place. So, you guys, um, you guys already seen my house before. But, you know, I've had this picture. Me and my husband actually got this picture. Um, Well, I framed it. We took this picture back in July or June. And I got it framed, like, in July. Well, I bought the frame. And we have yet to hang it up. Um, you know, just life challenges. A lot of things have been going on in my life. So, I don't know. But in case you guys did not see in one of my recent videos, I did have my son's... Yeah, I'm working on a wig. So, excuse that right there. Um, but in case you guys didn't see, I did have my son's pictures blown up. So, this one is like right over the steps. And then there's another one up there too. I'm definitely going to do a my YouTube setup video when I get the chance. I'll probably do it this week because I don't have anything. I mean, I do always have stuff to do, but you know, like I have laundry to do and stuff. I do want to go to the store and get some, well, I think I got enough toilet paper, but I did want to go to the store and get some other essential things. What do you hear? What do you hear? You know, so I'm not really sure if I'm going to do that. Why does he keep bringing his damn table over here? You know, Tinky can drive you crazy. This is my grandson's, well, he says this is his living room, but this ain't, because if he don't pay rent, this ain't his damn living room. But this is where he, he normally plays at, because you definitely can't go in my other living room and play. So I'm, about, I'm not about to have toys up in there. You know what I'm saying? Why do kids always destroy shit? That's what I'm trying to figure out. Because, like, where's the backup for this chair? Oh, right here. And I wish he would just leave this where I put it. You know, I redid this whole little living room over for him with his toy set up. And he's just a slob. I don't have to clean anything um, today because I already bleached everything up. But let's, let's see how many more minutes. We got two more minutes for the rice to be done. Let me check it because sometimes you don't need 20 minutes. This is hot. Okay, so the rice is actually good to go. That was 18 minutes. So now we're going to put this in for five. Ooh. 
Why you take a shake and go in the grip door? Yes, show everybody you're a fatty. Show them you're a fatty. Yes, I'm a fatty, I'm a fatty. Yes, that's my baby. I love you. Yeah, I do. I'm a girl. Got one minute and 31 seconds left for the chicken and beans. And then our whole meal is done. Okay. I gotta edit some videos. I uh, was well, not some. I gotta finish editing one video today. Um, and I'll probably make some more masks. Well, maybe not today, maybe tomorrow. I've been making some face masks just for my family. Um, I have been asked to sell them, but everybody sells them. And I'm not gonna do a video. I've been asked to do that because everybody has a video. And also, the reason why I'm not going to make them to sell them, I did watch a video where um, someone was saying that. It's not a really good idea to touch them and breathe on them and send them out and sell them because you can be contaminating them with the virus or whatever you have, if you, and especially if you don't, especially if you don't know if you have it or not. So that's not safe. But I'm pretty sure like you can wash it. You wash them. I would hope you would wash them before it's done. I, I would, but I just, it's just not a safe idea to do. So... That's the reason why I just figured I'll just make enough for my family. It's not like I have like a whole bunch of fabric on hand. So yeah, so the rice is done uh, Not the rice the chicken and beans. So let's put that in. This is what it looks like. It's all done. Just pour it in And this might be even more um, than enough for a family size of six. I'm not really sure. I know my daughters and my husband, they love it when I make this. They say it tastes really good. And it smells really good, okay? It smells really, really good. And this is it. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I will see you guys in the soon to come. Make sure you rate, comment, subscribe. If you like this video, these type of videos, let me know. I can try to come up with some more ideas. Okay. Um, and if you guys have tried this out or you, well, I don't know. I just made this up one night. It could be not even made up. I could have just did something that somebody else did. But if you find it, if you found it helpful and you were able to feed your family with it, then go ahead. And if you have some other ideas to put in there, Leave your comments below. I love you guys. Stay diva and delicious. I'm out. See you guys in the next video.